hey guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing good hope you watched my previous two videos which i posted recently i had like been uh, not posting video for some time and now i have restarted it today now i am in maldives and uh, i thought of posting a video about my current lifestyle my diet my exercise a lot of questions keep coming because you see my travel videos and i eat um, say rice and um, other stuffs uh, so let me explain to you how i manage my things what are the changes that i brought in my lifestyle and what are the reasons behind that so three things i'll be covering mainly the workouts the diet and my lifestyle so let's uh, go to the workout first workouts i used to do very intense workout i used to do high intensive interval training then i used to do this 100 meter sprint weights heavy weights and i used to bulk up myself really good i was around 74 kg but uh, last one and a half years i have reduced my weight to say 65 kg and uh, now i don't go to gym i just uh, go for long walks usually when i am in the farm i walk almost 10 to 15 kilometers a day if i am not in the farm i am like currently in maldives it's quite difficult to do walks here yesterday i think i walked more than 4 5 kilometers then i what i do is i reduce my diet intake my calorie intake is reduced and um, i try to balance like that i don't go to the gym i usually do long walks or sometimes in the room i do some push ups and uh, stretches and some sit ups uh, i don't really do things that would really pump my heart very hard so i had explained the reason why i am not doing this in my last video so if you can check that out i feel it's always good not to give too much of stress once you are like your age is going up and um, recent incidents of like different cardiac problems uh, this is uh, to be on a safer side especially when you are diabetic for long uh, there are chances so what i am doing is i usually do some push ups pull ups uh, not too much earlier i used to do like without any breaks i'll do like 100 sit ups uh, 100 push ups and uh, then some pull ups i used to like within 10 15 minutes i used to like burn myself like i'll be sweating and uh, my heart rate would go really high uh, now now i don't have a watch to measure my heart rate last uh, i think more than one month back my watch got spoiled i'm waiting for the apple series 8 uh, i was expecting the glucometer to be integrated in that but uh, i have come to know that it's not going to come in this version also anyway we'll talk about that apple watch and glucometer later so my heart rate uh, i would not let go too high and uh, i am not really pumping up or building too much of muscles but i have been maintaining the muscle mass uh, okay not like what you used to see earlier uh, i feel very light now i can uh, move around faster i can do exercises you should never quit doing exercises you should do something to keep your body flexible you should do something to uh, pump up your heart to a moderate level so it's very important go for some walk walking i think is the best exercise if you can walk uh, 5 10 kilometers or i sometimes walk 15 kilometers also if you go for a trekking it's good and it's not that you should do every day if you can do it for say 4 to 5 days a week it's good there would be a question in your mind that is it bad to do uh, vigorous exercises uh, i would talk about that towards the end of this video now the second thing is the diet i was on a very high protein diet i was hardly having any carbohydrates very less carbohydrates i was having and um, i used to have some good fat also in fact i used to uh, have maybe four five six eggs every day egg whites and maybe two egg yolks uh, then whey protein was regular for me i stopped having all these things i just have maximum is two eggs a day uh, i have chicken not regularly maybe once in a while if i get that desi chicken especially when i am in india or rarely i may just taste a piece of chicken that doesn't mean that i am having regular chicken and think even meat also meat if i get good meat in uh, india usually when i am there they get this fresh meat i have that i basically i am eating a lot of sprouted grams uh, plant based protein and which are, which is like easily digestible Uh, vegetables a lot green leaves a lot and um, fat i have some ghee pure coconut oil so these kind of things i am having regularly fruits i am having uh, 
uh, especially papayas and goas when I am in farm or otherwise now where here I get these uh, plums, peach, strawberries and all really good fruits. So I have those things. So that's my diet and um, if you ask about intermittent fasting which I was like really stressing my, uh, earlier, uh, I still am doing intermittent fa fasting. It's called that time restricted eating. Uh, I am having only two meals a day, morning maybe around uh, 10 o'clock when I am in the farm and evening say 4.30, 5 o'clock I will have my lunch and have a cup of tea and finish it for the day. That's my usual routine. Uh, when I am here, uh, I have my morning breakfast at uh, say 8.30, 9 o'clock or sometimes I skip the breakfast and I have it when I uh, come back from office for lunch and then evening I'll have a meal or sometimes even I manage with a single meal also. Uh, because if now for as of today, I didn't do any workout. I didn't go out for a walk or I didn't do anything. I just uh, walked to my office. I didn't burn much calories, so I don't need much food today. Uh, but morning I did some push-ups, a uh, little bit to like warm up. Uh, other than that, I didn't do anything. So you can actually balance it. You know that uh, you are doing something more. You need to eat more food. You will feel that lightness, or you will feel that you are shrinking down. That's something I am getting that uh, feeling and uh, when I am in farm, I am working more, I eat more so that I can maintain my weight. Always you need to have a weighing scale with you, a glucometer with you to make sure to know what's happening with your body. So weight, if I lose weight, I definitely make sure that I increase my diet and uh, have some more or reduce my workouts and balance it and uh, if I am gaining weight, I like try to push down now when I was in India I was traveling I went to Kerala I ate a lot of food and I gained 2 kg then after coming here within 3-4 days I reduced that 2 kg now I'm back to 65 kg so this is something which I've been practicing and glucometry is something really helping me uh, to make sure that I'm not taking too much of medications and uh, I am managing my diabetes as natural as possible without too much of medication so diet is very important uh, I have reduced I am still maintaining the time restricted eating, the intermittent fasting which I would recommend for all of you. It's really good, it works good. Eat only for 8 hours, 16 hours if you are able to fast or drink some lime water or zero calorie drinks that would be good for you. Then coming to the third part that's the lifestyle. See lifestyle is very important and this is something which goes out of control for many people. You can manage your diet, you can do exercise. Uh, lifestyle when you are working for a big corporate company or IT company you have lots of stress you have targets you have uh, weekly targets daily targets monthly targets and uh, you need to achieve those things you have to work long hours you may not get proper sleep and uh, that creates a lot of problem that is I think the biggest problem for all of us uh, especially um, this age we find that it's very competitive world and uh, there are people who work really hard and uh, uh, to stay in your job or to to be at par with people we need to work really hard and that creates all these problems and uh, you don't have time for exercise or you may sleep late you may drink more you may eat more you may all these things gets out of control because of the kind of lifestyle the kind of job you have so i was actually quite ha happy uh, i don't really have too much of stress from work or any other things one only problem is i take some things very seriously and if i find it's not going the way it was expected and i it, it becomes a botheration for me and i used to take a lot of stress in that so that was something uh, i was trying to manage and um, uh, as of now what i do is i am like i take things very easily um, yes, many people would say that it's not affordable for them to take things that easily because it may cost their job or it may cost their income. So I do agree to that. But stress is something that would really impact your health. And uh, stress was something which was impacting my health. And um, I am trying my best that I don't take any stress. I try to keep myself calm. And I am trying to do things which uh, gives me a lot of happiness and I try to ignore things which are bothering me. That's something you need to train yourself. You can do that. It takes time. Uh, you have to find happiness and live happily. That would really improve your health. Diabetes, yes, it's very important because 
even if you take medication even if you do exercise even if you eat very nice food or zero sugar food still your sugar levels can spike up if you are stressed out so improve your lifestyle you need to focus on living a very happy life life which would really not be of both region and all so that's something uh, which i've been trying for last uh, one and a half years to improve that and, and to a very um, good extent i would say that i am successful in that i am trying i am able to manage my stress quite nicely these days then other thing is like uh, earlier i used to have um, some uh, beer in between alcohol i don't use tobacco but uh, i used to have some beer beer is not really good if you're diabetic and it actually it has tons of calories if you are regularly having some beer it may not be that good so i i found that it's not that great for me so i do have beer but very less and i usually have some red wine and uh, some vodka in between uh, not much of alcohol it's good to avoid alcohol mm, even if you have have it in a very nominal quantity so overall uh, this good change in my life it doesn't mean that i have uh, um, lost so much of weight it's not that so much of weight i have as per my height and age my weight is good and uh, i look really fit i am not uh, that uh, again matter the age every year we are getting older so things would change in our body and uh, uh, it's very important to make understand our body and take decisions so many people ask me questions which i really i am not able to answer because every person health age uh, health condition many things are there they you have to take a decision after evaluating all these things i whatever i am talking is just sharing my experiences i am not a doctor i do have um, medical background but not a doctor to treat people or i am not doing this this is just sharing my experience being diabetic for last 20 plus years now so i have gone through very bad phase becoming diabetic at the age of 30 and uh, um, then getting desperate frustrated and i didn't know what to do and uh, over last 10 years i've been managing very nicely i was um, i changed myself a lot uh, so that helped me so i thought i will share my experience to help people so take this as just sharing my experience if you have a problem definitely you should go to the doctor and get yourself treated uh, do your investigations regularly as per your doctor's advice that's very important and um, one big thing i would want to say from my side is don't get upset don't get frustrated don't get demotivated that's not end of your life you can live a very good healthy life if you're taking care of yourself that's the most important thing which i want to communicate to you guys so any questions please ask me i'll share my experiences uh to keep you guys motivated we can fight diabetes that's all bye for now take care